Hi, Grandmommy. Hi, Ladybug. Hi, Jack. I'm glad that you are here. Wow. Jack, you have gotten so big. Yes, I sure have. So, Grandmommy, how are you? Oh, Jack. I am the same. I am very happy. That is great. Well, I want to take you to see my friends, Millie and Bailey. Do you mind coming with me? Sure, I don't mind. Ladybug, is that okay with you? Uh, I think it's a great idea. But be back by tonight. Got that? Yes, Ladybug. Thank you. Let's go, Jack. This is the place. This is Millie and Bailey's clubhouse. Let's go inside. Okay. Hi, Jack. I'm glad that you came here today. Yeah. Hey. Who are you? Well, you guys, I want to introduce you to my mom's second grandmother, Kathy Riddle. Hi. I'm glad to meet you, Millie, Bailey, and Arthur. You can call me Grandmommy. Hi, Grandmommy. We're glad to meet you, too. So, Millie and Bailey, do you live here? Yes. We sure do. We bought this clubhouse three years ago. Arthur visits us very often. Oh. I see. That's cool. Yeah. So, Kathy, what do you want to do? Well, I want Bailey to read me a story. Oh, okay. What story do you want to hear? Jack, could you hand me that book over there? Sure, Grandmommy. Thank you, Jack. Here, Bailey. I want you to read this story. Oh, little monster at school. Great choice, Grandmommy. Ahem. Mercer Mabos, little monster at school. Early in the morning, Mom wakes me and says, Get up, little monster. It's time for school. I put on my overalls and go downstairs to breakfast. Pop says, what will you have this morning, eggs, or cereal with milk? After breakfast, I brush my teeth and get ready to go. I have lots of school stuff to carry with me. Pencils, a lunchbox, a notebook, some crayons, and an apple for the teacher. Mom walks me to school. Some of my friends come on the bus. The first thing we do is sing a morning song. And then, we practice our letters. Yelly makes some of his letters backwards, and then he gets mad. But I help him. Counting comes next. We count from 1 to 20. Little lad is the best counter in the class. And that makes Yelly mad too. Yelly wants to be the best counter in the class. We have pets to take care of. I have a zipper and a zoo. Little lad has a apple. Grendella has a snake. Yelly won't take care of a pet. He says they're Ricky. We grow plants. Everyone is growing something different. I'm growing some beans in a box. Yelly's plant won't grow. He says the plant is mad at him. We tell what we did over the weekend. Yelly makes up the most fantastic stories. On nice days, lunch time is outside. I have a sandwich and a tango, but Yelly always brings lots of candy. At recess, we all go to the playground. Yelly won't play with anyone. He says games are stupid. After recess, Mr. Grivix reads us the story of Little Monster and the Three People. Everyone sits on a mat and listens, except Yelly, who pouts. He wants to hear a story about horrible people from outer space. Mr. Grigix gets out a map and shows us where our town is. We see how the monsters dress in different countries and look at flags from different monster lands. We have science class and learn about leaves, rocks, and bugs. Then, we get to make things. I make a paper airplane. Little Lad makes a block building. And Grendella makes a puppet. Yelly draws a great picture and everyone is amazed. Especially Yelly. Yelly. You're the best drawer in school. Grendella said. Do you really think so? Said Yelly. I'll trade you my paper airplane for your picture. Said Little Monster. Do you really want my picture? Asked Yelly. Then we have singing. Mrs. Vera Kisser plays the piano. Yelly and I share a songbook and Yelly even sings. School is over. I walk home with my older sister and my new friend, Yelly. I put Yelly's great drawing on my refrigerator, right next to my great drawings. The end. Wow. Bailey, you are an amazing storybook reader. Why, thank you Grandmommy. Did you like the story? Liked it. I loved it. That's great. So, what do you want to do now? I want to try playing on that computer. Oh. Okay. I'm gonna try Millie's math house. Oh. Wow. I'm gonna try building a mouse house. Square Circle Rectangle 
Triangle. Triangle. Let's build something. Please give me a rectangle. Great. Please give me a square. Great. Now I need a circle. Hmm. That's a triangle. Try another shape. That's it. Nice work. A job well done. <laughs> Thanks for your help. Let's build a house. Please give me a triangle. All right. Now I need a rectangle. Great. Now I need another rectangle. That's it. Nice house. Time to move in. <laughs> Thanks for your help. Help me build my house. Please give me a triangle. All right. Now I need a square. Okay. Please give me a circle. All right. Now I need a rectangle. All right. Nice house. Time to move in. <laughs> Thanks for your help. Hey, Grandmommy. Can I have a turn? Sure, Arthur. Here you go. I'm gonna play Bailey's book house now. I'll try making a story. You can make a story. This is the story about Harley. This is the story about Harley. Harley likes to ride in a bathtub. Harley likes to ride in a bathtub. One day, Harley traveled to outer space. One day, Harley traveled to outer space. When Harley got there, he threw a boomerang. When Harley got there, he threw a boomerang. There. Now, listen very carefully. This is the story about Harley. Harley likes to ride in a bathtub. One day, Harley traveled to outer space. When Harley got there, he threw a boomerang. Hey Arthur, may I have a turn? I want to make a story about me. Sure, Neely. Here you go. You can make a story. This is the story about Millie. This is the story about Millie. Millie likes to ride in a canoe. Millie on a flying carpet. Millie likes to ride on a flying carpet. One day, Millie traveled to the city. One day, Millie traveled to the city. When Millie got there, she met a monster. Hello. When Millie got there, she met a monster. All right now, guys. Listen carefully to my story. This is a story about Millie. Millie likes to ride on a flying carpet. One day, Millie traveled to the city. When Millie got there, she met a monster. Hello. Hey Millie, can I play something on the computer? Yes Jack, here you go. I'll play Trudy's Time and Place House. Oh, cool. I'll go blasting off with Astro Mouse and Melvin.
Blast off with astronauts and Melvin. <laughs> Hey Jack, can I have a turn? Yes, Bailey. South America is a continent with mountains running all along one edge. The very bottom of South America is shaped like an animal's sharp horn. All wildlife is protected on the Galapagos Islands including huge turtles, iguanas, and blue-footed seabirds. <laughs> the Amazon rainforest is the largest tropical rainforest on Earth. Armadillos, giant anteaters, anaconda snakes, and other fascinating animals live there. of Machu Picchu, high on a mountain long ago. Parts of the buildings and the city wall are still standing today. The city of Rio de Janeiro is known for its beautiful beaches and colorful festivals. mountains are the longest chain of mountains on Earth. Some mountains in the Andes are volcanoes that still erupt. Wow. Pretty cool facts about South America. Yeah. I agree. Oh. Grandmommy. Do you want to go meet Steve, Joe, Josh and Blue? Yeah. Sounds like a great idea. That's great. All right, Millie and Bailey, we have to leave. Oh, okay. Bye, Jack. Bye, Grandmommy. Thanks for coming to see us. Bye, Billy. Bye, Bailey. Hey, Jack. Yes, Arthur? When you come back again, will you bring Grandmommy here again? I want her to meet our other friends, too. Well, I will try my very best. That's good. Bye, Jack. Bye, Arthur. Look at that. It's the Blue's Clues house. Let's go inside. All right. Hi, Jack. 
It's great to have you over, yeah. Hey, who are you? Hi guys, I'm Kathy Riddle, but you can call me Grandmommy. Oh, hi Grandmommy. It's my honor to meet you. I'm happy to meet you too, Steve, Josh, Blue and Sprinkles. Hey Steve, where's Joe? He's in our bedroom with his girlfriend, Baby Bot. Oh, okay, can we go say hi? Of course, go right ahead. All right. Just then, the mother bird came back to the tree. Do you know who I am? She said to her baby. Yes, I know who you are said the baby bird ahem excuse me joe jack is here oh hi jack hey who are you hi joe hi baby bot i'm kathy riddle but you can call me grandmommy oh hi grandmommy i'm glad to meet you i'm glad to meet the two of you too hey joe who is that laying on that pillow grandmommy that's my stuffed duck his name is boris oh i like that name what is he doing? Boris is about to take a nap. I was reading Are You My Mother to him. Are You My Mother? Wow. I love that story. Me too. It's been Boris's favorite story ever since Joe and I started dating. Oh. I see. Boris is all snuggled up in my yellow blankie. Yeah. He really likes it. That's nice. So, what are you gonna do while Boris is sleeping? Well, Joe and I are gonna pick a movie to watch in the living room. We are either gonna watch Toy Story 2, or The Parent Trap. Well Baby Bob, since me and Grandmommy are here, can we watch a movie with you too? Sure. But let Joe finish reading the story. Okay. Jack, take me back to the living room please. Alright Grandmommy. Hey Joe. Why don't we let Jack pick the movie? Oh, okay Baby Bob. Sounds like a great idea. So Jack, what movie do you want to watch? I want to watch Toy Story 2. Because that's my favorite Disney movie. Oh, I did not know that Toy Story 2 is your favorite. But if you want to watch it, we don't really mind at all. Thanks guys. I'll put it in. Location observes fortress, but there seems to be no sign of intelligent life. So, we need to 
again, my flight here, for the last time. Not today, sir. <laughs> streets in his condition. It's a dangerous world out there. We're taught. Wow. What a great movie. I loved it. Me too. So Grandmommy, do you want to go back to Hardest now? Yes, Jack. It's getting late. Oh, alright. Okay, Joe and Baby Bob. We have to go. Thanks for a good time. You are welcome. Bye Jack. Bye Grandmommy. Bye Joe. Bye Baby Bob. It was nice meeting you today. Hi Ladybug. We are back. Oh. Hi Jack. Hi Kathy. So, how was it? It was great. I had so much fun meeting Jack's friends. Yeah. We went to two places. First, we went to Millie and Bailey's clubhouse. And then, we went to visit Steve, Joe, Josh and Blue. What? That's cool. What sort of things did you do together? Well Ladybug, when I met Millie, Bailey and Arthur, I had Bailey read us the story of Little Monster at school. 
And then, we played on Bailey's computer for a little bit. And when we went to the Blue's Clues house, Joe was reading Are You My Mother to his stuffed duck, Boris. You see, Joe is dating Barney's longtime friend, Baby Bop. Boris started liking Are You My Mother ever since they started dating. After Joe finished reading the story, Boris took a little nap and snuggled up in Baby Bop's blankie, and the four of us went to the living room to watch a movie. Cool. What movie did you watch? We watched Jack's favorite Disney movie. Toy Story 2. Oh. Wow. That's awesome. Well, I'm very glad that you two had fun today. Oh Ladybug. I'm even more glad that I got to spend the day with this handsome young man. Ah. Grandmommy. Thank you so much for the most wonderful, joyful, and glorious day ever. You're welcome, Jack. You and your family and friends are very special in my life. You know that? Really? Ah. That's nice of you to say. I love you. You love me. We're a happy family. With a great big hug and a kiss from me to you. Won't you say you love me too? I love you so much, Jack. You make me and my family very, very happy. Oh, I love you too, Grandmommy. You make me very happy too. Well, I have to go home. Okay. Bye, Jack. Thanks for spending time with Kathy. You're welcome. Bye, Ladybug. Bye, Grandmommy. Gee. I had a pretty long day with Grandmommy today. Now, I'm gonna go to bed with my favorite plush, Sam Sparks. Flipping through a magazine Says she wants to look that way But her hair isn't straight Her body isn't fake And she's always felt overweight Well, little girl, 14 I wish that you could see The beauty is within your heart And you were made with such care Your skin, your body, and your hair Are perfect just the way they are There can never be more beautiful you Like the jewel you are 